play on this for Paris Bercy. Tara Lipinski clearly concerned. Well, if Skate America wasn't a surprise for her coming in second, I can guarantee you right now there's some question in her mind. Well, she likes to stay on top of things. I'm sure she'll see what the other ladies are up to. And Letitia Hubert practices right here at Bercy, and she lit this arena up in the short program, coming in second. Big surprise. And I can remember sitting at the Olympic Games in 1992 when she had a fourth place finish after, after the short program. We're in a similar circumstance. She was great in the short. Can she hold on and do it in the long? Good jumping in a free program like this is staying over your axis, the center line that goes down through your body, perpendicular to the ice. You don't want to tilt. Hubert has 
shown this French audience and the judges that I'm back. And that's the first standing ovation of the night. <laughs> and well deserved. The triple loop, very well done. She's right where she wants to be. Tilted a little bit, but she had the mechanics she needed to land it. This is a double axle. She reached down with the right hand. Little trouble, but still kept going strong. Not perfection within the jumps, but she did get by very well. The triple flip. Again, hanging on. Perseverance. Pays off. And Peter, let's see how much it pays off. Here are her scores for technical merit. Well, these technical scores are all very strong. In fact, they are stronger than Tara Lipinski's first set of scores. What happens on the next mark, I don't know, but a shot has been fired across the bow here. And the presentation marks are great too. 5.8, 5.7 across the board. Very consistent judging. And Susie, she knows it. Leticia Hubert has beaten the world champion, wow. Tara Lipinski. What a way to come back. And in front of her hometown crowd, in her ring. That is sensational. That's the way to do it. I would <laughs> never have predicted that coming into this competition. Not the most memorable stay for the 